everybody, Bob McManaman with the Arizona Republic and AZ Central Sports, along with colleague Jose Romero. Jose, we're headed to D.C., man. Uh, Cardinals season opener. Can't wait. I know you can't either. Uh, when we get there, uh, in my opinion, this could be one of those rare winnable games for this young Cardinals team that everyone's ripping up and throwing in the trash. I don't know if it's going to happen. What say you? Is this a winnable game for the Arizona Cardinals at Washington? I think so. I mean, there probably aren't going to be a whole lot on the schedule, <laughs> given the talent that the other teams possess and the Cardinals really don't overall. Yeah. Um, you know, Washington wasn't a bad team last year. They, I think they were like 8-8-1, eight, eight and one, break-even team. Um, they have some playmakers on both sides of the ball. Oh, yeah. uh, but they have an untested quarterback, and if – the Cardinals' pass rush can make life difficult for Sam Howell. And um, if some things go right for who's ever playing quarterback, um, you know, it could be a close game. Three career starts in the NFL for the two quarterbacks. We're assuming it's Josh Dobbs. It will be. Uh, and Sam Howell. Okay, moving on. Uh, that should be a, a, a wonderful matchup to watch, even though they're not playing against each other. But – Cardinals offensive line will be going against Washington's defensive front, which is a beast. I mean, three of those four guys had 30 sacks last year, and Chase Young wasn't even playing really for him last year. He is now. He's a little dinged up, but I think he's going to play. Those four guys are tough to beat. Arizona's offensive line is going to be the key for me in this game. Those guys call themselves the dogs, Jose. They better play like junkyard dogs, man, because they have their hands full. What's your key part of the game, position, position to watch? Yeah, I think it's I think it's Washington's receivers against the Cardinals cornerbacks. Um, the Cardinals are looking at sending Marco Wilson out there, who has some experience, you know, granted. But the other side could be Catrell Clark, who's a brand new rookie. Um, he's never seen these receivers, uh, he doesn't, you know, he, he, he keeps a notebook of all the receivers, right, that he comes across or the guys that he knows about and watches film on. But, you know, is it, is it really going to help him a lot when it comes down to, you know, to get out on the field against Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson? Going to be tough. I think if Sam Howell can get the ball down the field against these corners, um, these corners who are relatively untested throughout their careers and, and don't have a ton of experience, um, it, it could be a long day. Prediction time, then. We'll wrap it up with this. I say the Cardinals should stack the box, make make Howell beat them down the field with exactly what you're talking about. Uh, that means those corners better be up and ready for it. But if you stack the box, take away their running game, make Howell beat you, uh, Cardinals have a shot. I'm not going to give it to them this week, though. I just can't do it. Not yet. Got to see. I'm going to go Washington 20, Cardinals 13. What, what are you? What say you? Yeah, I think this is a this is a game where I mean the Cardinals have to approach every game like they don't really have a whole lot to lose, right? Because there's a there's a um, it's a results oriented game, but you know this is a rebuilding team, and all of these guys have something to prove because they want to be on this roster now and going forward. Um, so in that sense, I think the Cardinals can make a game of it. They're going to have to control the ball quite a bit with James Conner running the ball, see if they can keep the ball out of the hands of the Washington offense. Prediction for me. Not a win for the Cardinals. I can't see it either. Uh, I think I had 20, 24 to 16 in favor of the Commanders. All right. There you have it. Make sure you read us. Uh, keep reading us all the time and follow this game with us. Uh, keep reading azcentral.com. Look for both of us. We'll see you next week.